click away from this video if you're not the type of person who likes to be noticed because I've had more conversations with strangers because of this jacket than any other piece I've ever owned. Welcome, I'm Carl Murawski. This is the channel that helps you own better, look better, and live better. New tagline, you like it? If you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, then you probably know that I've always wanted a B3 bomber jacket. And I just think that there's nothing cooler out there when it comes to really cold weather gear. Now, the reason I didn't buy one before now was because, well, the Japanese fits just don't work for my body by pierogi. And also, they're really, really expensive. For example, the B3 that I had my eye on was from Real McCoy's, and that thing cost north of $3,000. That's a lot of car parts. Now, another option was buying a reproduction from a company like Eastman or Cockpit USA. They make faithful reproductions of the military originals. The problem with that is that when you buy something that was originally designed for a very specific military purpose and you try to make that work in civilian life, sometimes the two things just don't jive. Specifically with the B3, they only had one pocket, which was right here, and it really wasn't very comfortable to put like one hand if you got them cold. And then there's the secondhand market, which usually is just fraught with its own issues. And there are also fashion options out there, which aren't really faithful to the originals, but also tend to have a lot of extra buckles and zippers all over them. Now, look, I, I like Michael Jackson as much as the next 1980s baby, but that look just ain't for me. Now, finally, and this is going to sound trivial, but I never liked the whole Santa Claus look, you know, with the puffs around the, the cuffs here and around the hem. That kind of thing just doesn't work for me, mostly because I know me. I know I'm going to get those things covered in oil and grease, and they're going to get dirty, and they're going to look pretty nasty after a very short amount of time. So I never liked that look either. So sometime during 2021, I approached Greg Field from Field Leathers, and I said, Hey, Greg, do you have any uh, plans of adding a B3 to your lineup? And he said, Yeah, mate, I totally do. Or however he speaks. He's Scottish. So he said, Yes, he does. And now, if you're not familiar with Greg Field or Field Leathers, in my opinion, Greg is one of the most talented jacket makers working today. He's he's just incredible. And even stitching snobs like Jake from Almost Vintage Style have sung his praises. I would say that Field Leathers has better stitching. And thankfully, since the time that I had done my original review on one of Greg's jackets, he had moved out of the basement workshop and into a proper storefront with such creature comforts as, you know, windows. He's also added a member or two to his team like Sam, who really help with setup and production and emails and returns and all shipping and stuff like that, so he can concentrate on doing what he does best, creating jackets. But along with all of the problems that I already have with the B3s that are on the market, there was one major problem remaining. On every B3 that I've ever seen, these straps here are backwards. Okay, so you have the finished side of leather, which is the one that you usually see on the outside of your shoes, your jacket, etc. And then there's the flesh side, the side that's not usually finished, it's kind of rougher, because this is the side that you typically don't see. It's on the inside of your shoes and your jackets, etc. Typically, this is uh, the rough side is out when the collar is down in the way that you'll wear it 95% of the time. So yeah, okay, you can pop this collar up and you can tighten it. Most people aren't gonna do that. This thing is warm enough with the collar down that you don't have to do that. So in the way that it's worn most of the time, wouldn't it make sense to put the finish side facing out? This is an issue that I've seen in every single B3 that I've ever looked at. Nobody has ever taken these things and flipped them around. So when you're looking at it, when it's in its normal position, the, the finish side is facing out. That's something that I had to talk to Greg about right away. I, I it just, it really is important to me. I can't stand it when I look at the flesh side here. I get it. It's meant so that it's when it's like this, the finish side is out. Or maybe they didn't even think about that when they were making this for the military because they were just worried about being too warm. And uh, you know, these people are up in cockpits. It's the way it goes, but I don't like it. This is, this is something, it's really goddamn important. So luckily Greg listened to me ramble on and on about those little details that really drove me nuts. And we went back and forth with patterns and emails and prototypes. Matter of fact, you can see one of the prototypes in this video right here, the thumbnail. That's one of the prototypes that we came up with. And in the end, I think we really ended up with something very special. A model that Field Leathers calls the Connecticut. The jacket is made of 15 millimeter North American sheepskin in a deep red finish with cream shearling. The leather takes on a maroon shade in the shadows and a vibrant red in the sun. It's a much more lively and interesting look than the plain seal brown on the prototype. Field Leathers also uses big panels of leather rather than small pieces that are stitched together. It's more expensive to do this way, but it makes for a much cleaner look. The zippers are number eight Japanese reproductions of old school Talon models, and the buckles are Japanese B3 replicas. 
The straps are six ounce harness leather from Wicked and Craig in Pennsylvania. And the trim is semi aniline Italian cowhide from Tuscan. We did away with the Kris Kringle cuffs in favor of leather appointments, gave it two hand warmer pockets, and flipped the collar straps to have the finished side facing out while the collar is down. Hallelujah. Now, for those who aren't familiar with shearling, it's basically wool and leather combined. You're not going to be able to wear any more of a sheep unless you throw a rat strap around one and throw it on your back. <laughs> that is so fucking stupid. Field leather stitch work is some of the best in the world. The corners are perfect. The lines are straight. He is truly a master of his craft at this point. Incredible work. Now, you simply won't find something that offers this degree of warmth with this level of cool factor outside of an HVAC system. I would say that if you don't live in an area where it gets below freezing regularly, you probably aren't going to want this thing. However, for those of us who live in places like New England where it gets cold on the regular, I, I think that this thing is just as cool as it gets for the cold weather. The other thing is that you got to be careful because your wife or girlfriend might steal it from you, but then again, let me tell you what, this thing looks dynamite on women. So Sam from Field Leathers put this on and took a couple pictures, and she looks awesome in it. Actually, it looks way better than I ever will. Don't forget that these originally were designed for World War II pilots who were inside of a metal tube up in altitude, like with no heat, right? So our needs here in civilian land down on the ground in your car driving to Starbucks aren't exactly the same. So look, I'm making a comparison here, but just be aware that these things are very, very warm. Really very warm. Still, I just don't think it gets any cooler than a great B3. I mean, Rocky War one, Aquaman, Tom Hardy, even Arnold. It's a bold statement that takes some balls to pull off, but if you do, you look like a damn rock star. The best part, though, is that Field Leathers was able to keep it relatively affordable. That real McCoy's model was $3,300. Eastman is getting $1,900 for their 50 cal. Cockpit USA sells theirs for $1,220, but the Field Leathers B3 will be 850 British pounds or $1,013. This is as low as they could possibly get it, and after 50 B3s are sold, the price will increase to its normal 1,000 British pounds or about 1,200 bucks. Field Leathers also did something a little different to keep the cost down and availability up. They're making these in standard sizing, so get your fabric tape out and check the fit chart on this one. They have phasing set up with phase one shipping within the first 10 weeks, phase two shipping between May and September of this year, and phase three shipping between September and next January. So if you want one of these for next winter, plan accordingly. Now, of course, I'm a little biased here, as I am with any collaboration that I do, but I really feel that this here represents the next generation, the next level of Field Leathers and what he's able to do. I mean, he's developed and refined his skills through hundreds of jackets, even since the one that I have, which was excellent. And he's just, it's so next level. When I look at the details in this thing, I'm still amazed at how he was able to put it all together. And that's what I mean. Sometimes I feel a little weird that my name's on it too, even though I, I had a hand in the design and, you know, of course, you know, talking his ear off about things like which way the straps should be showing. But he was the one who put it all together. And he did such a phenomenal job. He was absolutely fanatical about getting the right shade of leather to complement the shearling, of getting the straps, which are of a, you know, they're completely different tannery, a different type of leather, bovine leather, to, to match and, and look like it belonged, but also being different. And the buckles to look like they, they matched when they were unique to the original. He just, he went so crazy with these things. As a matter of fact, here's a little story real quick. Greg got in touch with me when, when we were going to finish this thing up and send out the last one. And so he made up the last one. I think he made a couple for them back there and he was going to send one out. And he goes, look, man, I, I, it's not perfect. I have to remake this one. And I'm sorry, but it's going to be a little while. And I was like, look, man, I don't want to make this video in the middle of summer. And he said, no, 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 don't worry. I'll take care of it. He pulled like an all nighter and got the thing out the next day. He just wasn't happy with something on there. I don't know what. I probably never would have noticed it, but it's not just me. This is the degree of care and and uh, just just craftsmanship that he puts into everything that he makes, which is why Field Leathers is becoming who they are. I called it way back in the day. I said, hey, look at guys. This thing is really a great bargain for what you're getting. A lot of you jumped on it and got yourself a smoking deal. Since then, his prices have gone up. Maybe the same thing's going to happen here. I can't predict the future, and I definitely don't have any saying as far as what Greg does with his business, but still. These great things, these great companies, as they grow, 
oftentimes their prices go up. So jump on it now if you want one of these. We're so proud of this. I'm so glad to bring it to you. I can't tell you what the last few years have been like just planning this and not being able to say anything about it, but I'm so happy it's here. I'm so happy we waited because, man, this thing is truly special. And let me tell you the other thing, okay? If you are single and you want to just have a conversation piece Put this thing on because anywhere you go, people are going to be talking to you. People are going to come over. They're going to want to touch it. They're going to want to get their hands in it. And they're going to want to talk to you about where you got this crazy jacket. It takes some stones to pull off. But when you do, you'll be rewarded. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time.